Hey. <laughs> My name's not so Orthodox, you can call me Austin, and welcome to a game called Pyre. This game is uh, made by Supergiant Games, I think it's the name of them. They're the creators behind games like uh, 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 um, the Bastion and Child of Light, I think. Could be wrong, I don't know, but uh, they are going outside of the box on this one, and they're, it's a different kind of game. It's more of like a sports story driven weird character focused game it's really different but it was really neat and very peculiar and i've heard really good things about it so i figured i'd give it a try so without further ado let's get right into it Ooh, that's pretty am i recording i am good <laughs> <Pyre. Oh. laughs> i had to hit a button <laughs> That's really pretty, I like the colors. Ooh, that bass. The bass is vibrating my controller. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. That's good. Is that me? The guy in the, like, on the, in front of the wagon, kind of? Now. As you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Oh, it gives you like a definition. Downside, a vast purgatory into which the commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. Okay. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Vitalios. Masked woman. Hmm. Another piece of filth expelled from the commonwealth. Doesn't get my shake. Uh, see? Right on schedule. What did I tell ya? You told us we would find someone alive. Someday. I said we'd find someone alive someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't get... But don't be glum. You know I see you're frowning underneath that mask. Oh. Looks like he's breathing. It seems like he still is. Then stand aside. I shall send him to a better place. Don't, 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 don't do that. He's a he? Can you people just tell? Tereulios. Hang on. The markings on his rags. I think he's one of them. Mazamushan. One of who? But look at him. He's beyond our help. And we are beyond his. Eh. Broken. Shaking. Starving. Probably diseased. That was a weird beginning to that voice. Yeah. Good luck with the... Good luck with that there, chum. See you back on the wagon. <laughs> Indeed. The day grows dim. You have a you have at best an hour. Pistos. Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns around, turns toward you, and begins unfastening his mask. <laughs> oh, it's a hit. I don't know if that voice really matches your stature, but okay. Hello. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us were equal nothings here. Well, that's nice. Excuse me. You, you are parched, as I burp. And he gives you a drink. You ache, and he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. You're a saint. Thank you so much. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now come on. You sense no Ill, Ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to the old black wagon. Nothing like the statly, stately vessels that pardoned commonwealth criminals through the, through the alabaster streets. A proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups. Edwin beckons you to enter the... Well, I only have one option. Oh no! My controller's going to die! The weather-beaten wagon is as much... As much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient looking books. The Naste. I'm back. Agnosenta. And with a guest. She loosens the clasp clasps on her mask. Yep, don't know if that voice matches you either, but whoa, but, yep, mm -hmm, gotta stick to it. You may call me Jadariel? Jadariel. Jenna Senta. I hope you're like a dog, 
or some weird like muskrat or some shit. And as for myself, the small one struggles with his mask. Jadariel soon assists him. She is the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Most imposing? Okay. <laughs> oh, it is a dog! Ow! That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. Rookie Greentail? Such pleasantries out of the way. The horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. That is so. Can he do it? Salah Haladium. Hope so. I haven't asked him yet. What? Then what are you waiting for? Hey, ya chum. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Uh, I mean, I know how to read, but am I this character? I'm gonna remain silent. I don't know if this is like bad. You stare back at Rookie, but say nothing in response. He stares back for several moments, then grows angry. Silent treatment, huh? Now, now, don't you play dumb with us here, understand? Dumb? The dumb don't have those kinds of markings. Those are something else. We know what you are. Reader. Those voices are gonna really wear my voice out. You owe us your life. We ask for something simple in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the book. Books in their possession. Well, only have one option. Oh. Well, I mean, there's three options. Three more options right there. And a book. Is that a person? Knock, knock! <laughs> That's a dude, right there. I'm gonna take this time to look around. What are these? Odd creatures. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Pick up one of the old and heavy volumes bound in materials you do not recognize. Forward, a formal welcome un undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote the Book of Rights, that you possess it, that you possess it, and have capacity to clean, to clean its words, it is testament enough to your potential. What? Thus, we reveal a path from the forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight as they align as shown. Where do I start? At the green one? Arrive at triumvirate. Arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the merriments of the rites bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Oh, that would have been nice. The book describes a complicated method through it which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwin gets your attention. Okay, I'm just gonna say the name of who it is before reading it, because if I keep doing those voices, it's gonna really fuck with my throat. Hedwin. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give up. Oh, reading, it must be rough in this world. This, the... Reader. That's me! Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? I didn't know it was forbidden. They told me so to read it. So soon after your sentence into exile. I didn't know I was sentenced to exile. It is true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. Well, then why would I you do You witness it? now the path toward salvation. Okay. You witness the rights. Oh, I saw this. The okay. one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. This is the sports aspect. Sports. Yes, by the grace sports. of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Hello, Shay. Edwin. It worked. Glory God. Trudaria. So is it so it is true. Oh man. Rookie. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? Very Edwin. We should be out there still, for now. We have to put our faith in him. Wait, what? Are they on the book? Judario. He could abandon us. Edwin. He won't. 
look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. I'll be in a second. Reader! We aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now, I swear to you, when we get out of there, uh, out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. What is going on? Are they like on the book? Am I just like, woo hoo hoo? <laughs> Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. That is why I just like take the book and go like this. Are they done? Can, can I leave? <laughs> can I just go on my merry way with their wagon? Looks like they're on the book, right? Are they on the book? A celestial orb oh, like falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. <laughs> Got it. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate. To pass the orb. Hello. Or they must prove their trust oh, in one slow. another, not just in themselves. Wait. The three must act as one. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're kind of quick, aren't you? R2 to sprint. Oh, speaking of quick, holy crap. Did it. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be purified. Ah! Yes, the exile rookie has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. Oh, it's like a power play. Her and, uh, hockey. Must make Except do on their scoring own. wise. Oh, but it is not so is that simple. How hockey works? I don't know. In the rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. <laughs> beware Man. the aura that Get the surrounds thingy about. them, as they oh, shall beware yours. Okay, I'm approaching him. Do I do I do anything? Oh. I just the aura sense. is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Oh, she big. Cast your aura like a stone. Eat shit. Correctly done. Okay. The answer meaning I'm again. <laughs> just so. Right to me. Okay. Never mind. A glorious <laughs> performance, I admit. More than I expected from the likes once of you. Once banished by Aura's exiles soon return. Okay. Grasp the orb once more. <laughs> the orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb quenches the You lose your aura flame. when you have the orb. I'm not moving. He's moving for me. Now I say jump. Leap <laughs> with all your strength. That a gainer. Is that what a gainer is when you like go forward and go backflip? Rookie is returned. Now, hey. snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. What? what? That was bullshit. The orb. Uh. I'm just gonna go over here. Ah! Oh. Glorious. The orb is up. Damn it. Die. Can I fire while I have this? Wait, what? Go. Distraction. Ha! Edwin doused the adversary's flame. I didn't know I could jump over the aura. Okay, I'll just walk. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had pulled a fast one on him. Oh shit! Ooh, he almost scored. <laughs> Rookie doused to the adversary's flames. You're we so close to scoring. <laughs> nice tactic. It's Just take him out first. There, dear reader. Now you understand. Nope. Yeah, they're or totally on the book. You? I could just be like, 
This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. But they helped me, so I guess I'll help them. I would tell you to turn back. Being honorable. Cast down your hope. But all those such as you... Me. You never listen. I listened. Did, didn't I? Grookey. Well, that was something. Headwind. That was our way out. Rookie. So now we just follow the stars, or what? Jodario. Supposedly. Reader. Come. Let us regard the night. Alright. Jodario leads you outside where you clear night sky. Where a clear night sky was. Jodario. Now, show us. Before the howlers catch our scent, what shall the rites commence? What? Wait, you're asking me what to do? Why are you asking me? I totally know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, looks like an ox. Or a goat or some shit. Onward! Honestly. To the goat thing! Hmm, 200 leagues due east? The ridge of gold? Concilia. Great. Or right, rookie. And we're supposed to do... And we're supposed to be there when, exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make it... If you, if you make haste. Headbutt. Then we had best get started. <laughs> Rookie. Well, this ought to be good for a few laughs, at least. What do you say, Jody? Jody, I like that, Jody. Hey, Jody. Jodariel turns to you, studying you. Jodariel. Jody. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. Rookie. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, chum. Edwin. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Do I have to say the names or can I just read it? I think I'm just going to read it. Freedom. The rights are the key. It's a lot to take in. Yeah, I know, right? You're telling me. Your fellow exiles await you in the wagon. Join them! Uh, gonna have jams in the wagon? Where'd the wagon go? Just gone. To be live? Oh, okay. My ass hurts a lot. You arrive in the downside prairie, where the road ahead is forked. There is a lack of consensus which about about which way to proceed. Okay. I'm just gonna read it. You, you can see who's talking. I'm telling you we ought to take the northern pass. Got an associate hold up in Hollow Root. I've got to pay a visit to, besides. Toss it. Fie on your associate! Best we head to Blooming Pool and avoid attention. Oh, I didn't look at what the last thing was. The southern route to the Ridge of Gold goes through a humid area packed with hot springs. He said it would be not. And get stuck in a bog while we're at it? All right, and get stuck in a bog while we're at it? Because it, was, it wasn't a question mark, it was an exclamation. The dispute continues as Hedwin listens to the well, if the reader settled this. Oh, yeah, put it on me. That's great. Make a great first impression. He marks the way. We get us there. If the rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing him along the way. Can we all live with that for now? For now? Yeah, sure. If necessary, then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. The northern route to the Ridge of Gold goes through a small exile encampment. Ruki knows someone here who owes him. The southern route to the Ridge of Gold goes through a humid area. Jodario thinks she can find rare flora here. Thinks. This is a guarantee. But an exile encampment? Is exile good? I feel like we're all exiles. I don't want to... Okay, Jody, okay. Sorry, Ruki, you seem like a... But I don't, you just don't seem as smart as Jody, so I'm gonna trust Jody on this one. This is really pretty to look at. Just saying. Oh, is that a bad? Did I, did I do a bad? Jody offers to show you around Blooming Pool after she notices you staring at the staring at the bogs and vegetation near the wagon. Soon, something catches her eye. Super enough. Observe. This shall pay for the for half of our trip. A black bloom is quite valuable. See, I found a good, a, a valuable flower. We went this way. Yeah, screw the 
associate that Rookie knew. Rookie seems sketchy. The Black Wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Gold. The others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall and the commencement of the raid. Commence the raid. You reach the celestial landmark now to get everything and everyone prepared. Okay, is the raid? Is that like what I just did? The sport? As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in raiments of the rites. Their preparations are set. However, everything is still and calm. Soon, they grow restless. Yukatagashi. Yukatagashi? You watch your mouth, Rookie. Keep telling you there's nothing here. What a bunch of idiots we are. If we traveled all this way for nothing? I don't think we did. Look up. Alright, it's more. It was more so. If we traveled all this way for nothing. Upside down. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. The stars align at last. Drida. You reach the ridge of gold Dreached. at the appointed time, and your triumvirate <laughs> is ready. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the accusers. Whose ever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished. Shall step closer to freedom. I'm just gonna use Riki. Now Riki? let the rights commence. Although they're all that guy. They're all like that size. I'm just gonna use Riki's speed. The stars are aligned and your pyre burns bright. Across from your, um, across from your companions appear several others also clad in raiments. Your adversaries and the rights. Okay. Everyone ready? Everyone ready. Let's hope so. Be still. We have a visitor. The ones whom she refers to step forward. At last, the night wings grace us with their presence. The name of a triumvirate in blue. It seems your fellow exiles have assumed their identity. Oh, we are the night wings. Okay. I see that reports of... I like that. Night wings? It's cool. Night wings, my, my favorite DC character. Even, even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Nobody moves. Save for the man robed in gold. Who unfastens his mask. Lendell. Surprised to see old Lendell again? He is the apparent leader of the Exile Triumvirate you encountered at the Ridge of Gold. Wait, what? Isn't that where I'm at? Again? Wait, what? Surprised to see old Len Lendell again? I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never to see it again after last time. Never had I come too close to freedom, only for you to dash oh, my hopes. hopes. Now, I and I and the accusers shall repay that affront. Next time I'm clad in gold, their leader harbors ill will for something he thinks you did. That I did or like our team? I have no idea. He shoves his mask back on the ta back on and takes position with the comrades. It is time. From the shadows you clutch the book of rights and focus on the task at hand. Rookie! Give me Rookie! Begin! That was easy. The accusers <laughs> underestimated you. Use her to defend. No! I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accusers! Stand your ground! Let your auras boil and rage! It seems that you have flustered the accusers. We have rattled them. They mean to draw us out. Then we'll just have to run more circles around them. I like what you think. Have you any idea what that Lendl did to deserve his exile? Hmm? A daring display, flinging the orb into the flames like that. You elude banishment using such tricks. What? <laughs> Get on my level, dude. <laughs> that was close. Then. Didn't 
Man, I'm good. I'm not even using her. She's my defense character. Thanks for leaving it wide open. That was really easy. Probably Rejoice, on purpose. Then in your but. single fleeting victory. Go us. Go, 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 go us. Jody didn't do shit. Good but not Sanashi. because I didn't... Your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness. What? What do we do? And then next we meet, you will rue the day. Like me or the night? Ask now in the wisdom of the scribes. <laughs> The exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. She didn't do anything. She literally didn't Only even move. the enlightened can <laughs> regain their freedom. Hmm, we have withstood worse nights than this, though few as strange. Uh, oh, upgrades. Cool. After using her rush to lunge forward, Jody can rush again right away. That'd be cool. After banishing an adversary, Jody instantly recovers all her stamina. What's some more defense-like character? Like... I feel like this is more defense driven. The demon scribe bestows his favor. Okay. Uh. After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon in the still night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. Cool. So Jody got an upgrade, but the other two didn't, and Jody didn't do shit. Awesome! Well, my friends, what can I say? The rites are real, and we're in. These are the games, right? An ancient ritual competition through which the worthiest exiles regain their freedom. Yep. The getting out of here club. <laughs> Next up on the ground, keep chasing stars until we're free. Until we are free. Until we are free. Here, here! Sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lendell back there. Anyway, guess we better start packing. As the others go about their business, Headman turns to you. Reader, come walk with me while the stars are still out. Alright? You and Headman walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have questions. Come, ask away. We need you in front. We need you in on this for the long haul. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Uh, do I only get, do I get to ask all of these? Or ask why he was exiled? Ask how he got this wagon? Why you cannot conduct the rites yourself? Ask what happens if you refuse to help? Yeah. Yeah, that seems the most... I was exiled. That's not important. Ask how you got the wagon. Not important. Refuse to help. I don't, I'm not going to. So this is the most... I want to understand this, yeah. You guys, Kedwin, why he and his companions did not invite you to participate in the rites firsthand and relied only on your guidance. He maintains eye contact and his smile. Good question, my friend. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss that and many other things. Make you a deal. Read the stars for us again and I'll tell you all about it on the way. You sense he speaks truly as he beckons toward the fading dark above. You didn't tell me shit! <laughs> God damn it, Hedwin. Alright, so over here to the next star. Okay, I'm gonna pause that pause that here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. I clapped again, son of a... Insert heartfelt outro here. Uh, thank you once again for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.